Green Bay. So there's a lot of adjustment period, but the thing about Cam, he's so open and, and such a great listener that he's been soaking things in. And, and he's willing to take any criticism or, or praise or whatever. He, he looks you dead in the eye and he, and he tries to get better daily. And, and that's why he's, he's really coming along well. Um, and, you know, he, he's a good point guard. I just, because he cares about his teammates and he wants to do it not just because coach says that. It's, hey, I want to do what the team wants me to do. So he, he's really, you know, made himself, he, he's a true point guard, you know, and that's what, that's a great, great quality for, for an incoming guy to have is to have um, that selflessness that he has. When you say his role is going to be a little bit different, I, I'm assuming you mean he won't have to score as much as he was asked to there. Well, it, no, you're you're trying to carve a niche. Okay. Still, where you already had one at the old team, so it's 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 you're just trying to, you know, develop a role, and it's just new. You know, who knows what that is. Yeah. Obviously, you know, Chucky Hepburn has this leadership quality that he always has, especially yeah. as point guard. But now, with Brad and Johnny gone, he's kind of stepping more into the limelight. How have you seen his role from last year to this year kind of change? And how have you seen his approach to it? Well, I, I, you know, I think the, the approach uh, probably has changed. He hasn't had a chance to actually... Um, uh, perform those leadership qualities yet we haven't even started yet so but he he's preparing himself to I think uh, he's got a lot of help obviously with, with a guy like Tyler Wall helps a lot and, and those two uh, you throw also Steven in there uh, and you throw a guy like Carter Gilmore I think he's uh, kind of going in with those guys with the mindset of bringing everyone together I think he's he's like all players, he's, he's trying to grow. He's going to try to continue to grow and get a little bit more vocal. Um, that's one thing we've been talking to him about is, is uh, you know, it's, as a point guard, it's not always just good enough for you to play well. You've got to find ways to pump somebody up or, or uh, get somebody else going in the game. And, you know, he's willing to do those things. And then there's also times where we've had to tell him this summer, Chuck, you've got to make some plays here. <laughs> you know, so it's it's finding that balance. Um, but he's preparing himself for it by by the hard work he's doing, the extra work he's doing, uh, how he's, uh, you know, building, uh, bonding with his teammates off the court. Those are those are things that are going to prepare him for what's, what's ahead as far as being a leader. And Chucky's a very charismatic guy. He's yes, kind of yeah, guy, that comes easy. Guy come, that everyone wants to rally around. Yeah. Um, what, what, like, stands? What's special about him that just makes him everyone? Well, him? I think what you said uh, as far as his, his charisma. You know, he's he's a guy that if you don't like him, well, there's something wrong with you. You know, because <laughs> he's he's just that type of individual. He cares on and off the court about about guys. He does the right thing. He handles himself the right way. Um, you know, and uh, those are easy guys to follow. Um, you know, and I think that's one of, you know, obviously he's a great player, but I, he's, he's probably even better person. And then obviously, Jacoby needs to have a huge surgery over yeah. the year. He's been recovering, played on it all last year. How have you seen him handle that, just the struggles of playing on it and now yes. having the surgery, recovering, now finally getting back to practice? Well, uh, today was, he was really excited to be out there and probably the most rest he's had in a while. Uh, it, it, it's really discouraging. He's had some hard times, but he's had, he's definitely uh, stayed upbeat, um, you know, stayed, uh, you know, positive as, as much as he can because whenever guys are injured, you know, you're going to have the kind of peaks and valleys. There's going to be days where you feel really good, and there's going to be other days where, man, I, I feel like I'm never going to be back. And he's definitely had those moments, but he's stayed positive through it all. Um, and he just continues to work on the things he can work on. You know, obviously he couldn't run up and down, but he's been trying to work on his for shooting for him. He's been trying to work on passing, jumping in, went, doing whatever he can. So he's staying active and staying uh, engaged. And I think that's helping him along. And now he's he's coming back, so that's good to see. And you've got six new guys on the team, three that stand out, Connor Sajian, Kamar McGee, Max Clegg, not really anticipating to play a big role on the team this year. What stood out about those three as you've gotten to work with them? 
Well, I'll tell you what, they really came in and, and just blended in right away. Uh, usually you have a little bit of tension. Uh, guys are trying to find their own way and, and uh, carve out roles, and, and there's a lot of competition, especially here. There's always going to be competition in every position, but they came in and they said, yeah, we like, they embraced the competition, but at the same time, they got along with everyone right away, uh, off the court. You know, that trip in France was, was huge, uh, and, and they even grew from that, you know, and, and I just really like how they've handled uh, coming in and, and competing every day, but at the same time, understanding that we're all working together and, and no selfishness has, has crept in. Harvey Gilmer is a player that kind of slid under the radar last mm -hmm. year, um, but you mentioned him when I talked to Steve Manchucky last week. They mentioned him as someone who's really taken a step up. In what ways have you seen him kind of try and take a step up, and not only on, in his I game, think, but... I think I really noticed his, his aggressiveness. Uh, and, and, um, he's definitely been more assertive, and that's good to see with him. Is how uh, he knows he's always been the smart player. He knows how to do how we want things done. Um, he's always been a great team player, and now he's he's taking some of those things and leading by example as far as uh, what we're trying to run, what we're trying to do on defense. Um, you know, he's using uh, his smarts, and, and, and he's I think he's getting more comfortable with what um, his role is and what he needs to do to get on on the floor. So it's good to see his, his confidence is definitely uh, growing and his assertiveness in practice has been great. Yeah, advantage of the, the time oh, I have with you. Um, you know, obviously Chris Hodges hasn't really played a full season since mm -hmm. junior year, but he's getting ready to really step in and be that backup center to Steve McCraw. How have you seen his development, even from being on the scout team last mm -hmm. year to now going up against Steve McCraw yeah. day in and day out? Well, you know, iron sharpens iron. You know, that's the mentality he's had he, he's looking at playing against Steve Brown as one of the best players in the country and, and he wants to uh, be that and so he's come with the mentality every day playing extremely hard working extremely hard and, and knowing that he's going to get better by going against Steve every day and never giving in and that's what he's done he doesn't give in he fights it in he's been one of our best offensive rebounders just constantly buying into crashing those boards uh, we saw it in the summer and he's continued to have that mentality and then at the same time he's he's trying to grow his game in other ways he knows he's got to get better uh, at certain things and he's been putting the time in and, uh, he's been one of our hardest workers and then last year obviously your backup in center and Chris Vogt seasoned had a lot of experience this year Chris Hodges not the same it's his yeah. first really his first year of college basketball yeah. how does that change the dynamic of having yeah. last year you had a backup well, it, it, it just makes it more difficult. It, does, it doesn't mean it can't be done, um, but obviously the task is, is a little bit harder when you're not as experienced. You have to learn kind of on the fly. Uh, you know, you kind of get thrown into the fire a little earlier, uh, but you also learn things quicker, you know, that way. So, uh, you know, he's taking the challenge. Uh, he's doing everything he can to be prepared, but some things he, he's going to have to learn uh, on the fly. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, everyone's going to look at the roster and say, how do you replace a Johnny Davis? How do you replace a Brad Davidson? But mm -hmm. you know, taking those guys out of a backcourt, what, what do you think that will allow Chucky to show and, and you know, kind of come forward? Well, I, I tell you what, you know, that's a, obviously with, with Brad and Johnny, um, you know, they did so much. Last year, but Chucky also did a lot. Of, now he has to elevate it. He knows he has to elevate uh, his game and, and how much, uh, you know, how his importance kind of goes up with those two guys going, uh, leaving. But uh, we, we have new guys coming in besides, you know, obviously, you know, you got Max, you've got uh, Jordan stepping up, you've got other guys that are, are willing to help him out. But obviously, he knows there's, there's a kind of an increased role. But I think the biggest increased role for him is more on, on a leadership. Um, that's where uh, you lose a Brad, you lose a Johnny. In those moments when we need things, uh, when we need to get a great shot as a point guard, you got to make sure we're going to get a great shot. Or we need that stop, you got to make sure that we get that stop. Uh, and that's where I think uh, his, his 
the biggest challenge is going to be is, is being uh, a bigger leader and taking some of that leadership role that, that Brad and Johnny uh, shared with Tyler last year. David, you're looking at players at mid majors like Max and Kamari. Mm -hmm. um, how difficult is it, is it, of it is a projection just from what they what they are there to what they might be here at the Big Ten level? Is that, is as far as projecting, uh, yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, no. It's hard to say. I, I really don't. You know, I, I've coached at different levels. It's hard to, you never know. You know, there's been a lot of guys that have a lot of success at, at uh, different levels and jumped up and had even more success. So, you know, uh, we're not looking at it like that, but I think the key is, is how are they focusing on every day on their roles? How are they constantly improving? And uh, only time will tell. I like the way, uh, you know, Kamari and Max have come in and with their, their mentality as far as being open-minded and really trying to soak it in. They didn't try to impose themselves on us. You know, they're trying to soak it in and get better. And I think that's been great and why we've had, uh, we had some good success in the summer and why we're continuing to grow. More data to work with than you do for high school kids, right? I mean, like in terms of really don't know there because they haven't yeah. played games against that level of play. It, or is it, 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 every conference is different. Every You know, it, it's really hard to say. I really don't want to – we we don't we, – we look more at character than trying to project, okay, this is what we think his ability is. We No one knows those things. So we look at character and, and fit, and those guys definitely uh, fit what we, what we wanted and what we need. And um, they, they didn't fool us. They are, they've been exactly what we thought and I'm really happy with uh, how they've come in. Speaking of Max and Kamari, just what are, what are, what's the skill set that those guys have brought to the team? What have you seen from them so far in practice besides their character? You know, Max, um, you know, obviously losing Brad, uh, Max brings in a lot of that kind of toughness uh, that Brad has. And, and so that right away was evident, uh, the mentality he brings in, um, you know, and, and then his abilities, you know, he can obviously shoot the ball, he can score it, you know, he's, he can do a lot of the things um, uh, that Brad has done in the past. So I think that's probably the closest uh, comparison, but obviously Max is a different player than, than him. And um, uh, Kamari, you know, obviously the defense intensity, you know, he's, he comes in right away and, and he's kind of got that bulldog mentality on the defense end. And offensively, he's a true point guard. He comes in looking, push the ball, looking to kind of, you know, kind of bring some tempo and bring some energy. And he's done a great job of bringing energy and uh, continues to get better. Got it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Perfect.